Settle in with the breath. Make it your home. In the same way as when you move into a house to make it a home, you adjust things here, change things there, make it so it feels just right for you. So take a while to look at the breath and see what feels good right now, what might feel better. Experiment a bit. You begin to see that you do have the power to shape the present moment. Because this breath is right here and it's responsive to the way you focus on it, the way you move it around, the way you visualize it to yourself. These are all ways that you can use to make this body here in the present moment feel like a real home. Otherwise the mind is going to go wandering around. It doesn't like being here, it goes wandering out. And after a while it forgets its home, it becomes a homeless person exposed to all kinds of danger, exposed to all kinds of difficulties. When you're in a home, you're safe. You can open and close the doors as you like, and you're in charge of who comes in. Greed comes in, anger comes in, you can stop them at the door. Otherwise our minds are like bus stations. Everybody can come in, everyone can go out and do all kinds of things inside. So you have to make sure your windows and doors can open and close. You don't just let anybody in. You don't let just anybody out. There's certain things in the mind that are going to disturb your neighbors. It's like having wild animals in the home. And you just let them wander in and out, and it's going to, they're going to wander all over the place. So you have to have them caged up inside. As for outside things coming in, keep careful watch at the windows and doors. If something's going to be useful, bring it in. Otherwise, you can just leave it there, outside. And John Cha's images of having a house with one seat, and you're sitting in the seat. Anybody else who comes in has to stand. They can't move in and take over the place. So make sure you have this one seat right here, so that you're in charge. You've got mindfulness at the door, kind of checking to see what's skillful and what's not skillful. Act only on the skillful things. Unskillful things, you don't even have to bring them into the mind at all to begin with. This is the, one of the advantages of having a home. You're not subject to everything that comes by. Most people nowadays, it's not just everything that comes by. They bring things in. They've got their little screens they carry around with them. and They're constantly looking out for more trouble. So here's the time to turn off the screen look at your mind. How's the screen of your mind doing right now? Make that the important news. Make that the important contact in your life.